This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and the luxury. Right. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? Last night this Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. I'm Geralt, the Witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Judy calls. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. Don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why well, dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Think you could take him, eh? What have you brought for the farewell feast? Bread, sheep's milk cheese. Our wagon's full of loot to be ripped from the black ones. We've also wine from the temples of Melitoli. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. We wanted to talk to Krach and Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. I wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face, mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holga Blackhand, Blue Boy Lugus, Madman Lugus' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Altric on Hindar. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feet are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Krat about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included, 
If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! <laughs> We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. It likely happened to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. To Ceres. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. May he want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Across the wide somber sea, I will see. Feast the carrot road are legendary. Axe tossing, tamed bears. Young crop sellers. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinda, and Yal Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Don Or. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the black ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. 
Finally, some diversion. And here I was, ready to puke from all the border. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. Had enough. Ah, oh, he got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your poor watcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor, meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Sure, I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Nothing wrong with having a drink in good company. I remind you we've important matters to discuss later. Matters that require a clear mind. I remember. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. To Bran! To Jarl Madman Lugos and his madness. Forgive us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. We shouldn't be breaking into Ermion's workshop. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you needed to grow a pair. But I know that you simply enjoy complaining. It's the only reason you said that. Why would we go there? To retrieve an item. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it and therefore must steal it. <laughs> right. Of course. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. behind the tapestry. Sparrow's chip, while Starley's chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws caw. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right. Nightingales croon. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion's spies. 
an indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. Mysterious. Fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. A hundred loose and arrow if he saw that in the woods. Looks alive. A basin of water? For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Door's locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. I can feel them coming closer. They're everywhere. Happening. You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Urboros must be here. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlove. A biography enhanced. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. 
It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Dwarven triple mead. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. A child's skull. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. This is it. It. We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs> Damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beard and must now choose his successor. The king must be wise a king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We have no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skelliger step forth.
My son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. May the best man a woman win. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her own. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Need your help. Ciri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, that Skellig's my isle. You've my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Unthink. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They have been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordrachir and Artsgeleg. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Undvik, then travel on foot to Oscar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. 
Ceres won't listen to me. Or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later.